Karen Blanchfield joins us right now. She's going up against Mano Furo this Saturday in New Jersey. What an opportunity for her. Hello, Aaron. How are you? Thank you for doing this. Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing Thanks for having me. Of course. Uh, so big opportunity for you. And uh, of course, originally you weren't supposed to be the main event. Now the whole thing is built around you and you got the call that you guys were getting bumped up to the main event slot in your home state. What was that? What was that feeling like? Oh, that was awesome. I, I knew right away when there was an Atlantic City card like in New Jersey that I wanted to get the main event slot. Uh, didn't get it right away, but ended up getting it, and I'm super pumped about it. Obviously, you fought in New York at, at the Mecca at MSG. This now actually in your home state. Does it feel different or, or more of the same feelings? I feel like it's going to feel so different because obviously I always wanted to fight at MSG. I thought that was awesome. Uh, I feel like who doesn't want to fight there? Um, but then I had the whole crowd against me with fighting Molly and all that. So I feel like this time it's going to be so much cooler fighting in New Jersey. I know like the whole crowd is going to be on my side. Um, and I'm really looking forward to like feeling that energy. Um, were you at like, as a kid, did you hang out in Atlantic city? Like, do you have any special connection to Atlantic city? I know, you know, it's gambling and this and that. So maybe young kids aren't hanging out there, but did you spend summers yeah. there? Do you have any sort of like personal connection to that city? Yeah, so I, I made my pro debut in Atlantic City with uh, CFFC like six years ago. Um, so that was like the last time I was able to like fight in New Jersey. Um, so I'm super, super excited to like go back and, and get another win there and have everybody there this time. Uh, how many people do you think um, that you have a connection to that you know will be there in attendance on Saturday? Uh, I don't even know. I mean, out of just like family and friends, I could, I could see it being like, <laughs> literally almost like a hundred people that I like personally know to some extent. And then I'm sure all like the fans and everything are going to be Jersey people. So I think it's going to be a lot of people. Does that add another layer of stress going into the fight? You know, people hitting you up, feeling like you're kind of, you know, hosting them, so to speak, when you just want to focus on the fight? Um, no, I feel like, I feel like everybody that knows me, um, that is pretty good about not bothering me. I guess in that sense, they'll reach out to like other like family friends and stuff like that. Um, but I, I like having that pressure and, and I love that they could all be there. I mean, especially with like how many times I fought in the apex or like my last fight was in Singapore. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to like fight in front of everybody that I know and love. So I'm excited about that. What was Singapore like? Singapore was actually really awesome. I loved the crowd there. They loved all the fights. They were cheering. I don't, I feel like I didn't hear any booze at all. Um, yeah, I really like the energy there, and it was a beautiful place. I went there like two weeks early, so I felt like I was kind of like a chorus like the first week, and and then fight week I had to like settle in more. But but it was awesome. I, I've heard uh, everyone there is so nice, respectful, and also it's such a clean uh, country. Like everything is just perfect. Like I, I I've only heard amazing things about Singapore. Was your experience the same? Yeah, I would say so. Everyone was super nice. Um, it was clean. Uh, beaches were nice. Like, everything was nice there. I, there's no complaints. And uh, you got to be there for the uh, the Korean zombie retirement, which was a little bit emotional. Were yeah. you in the arena for that? Uh, no, I think they already had sent me back to like the hotel for that. But obviously, oh. I was like there, and I, I was I think I was in Holloway's locker room, so I kind of got the feel a little bit. But okay. yeah, I always I always watched it too growing up, so that that was a little sad. But you know. Um, so that was in late August, very late August. Uh, now, of course it's late March when you're fighting again. Why such a delay between fights? Um, I mean, no particular reason. I guess it's just, I guess at this level, there's not a lot of people to fight. Um, and then I know Manon fought in like September and I was just pretty much, I knew that she was probably going to be my next fight after the way that, um, the Alexa and Valentina fight went. Um, so I guess it's just a matter of time of matching us up. It seems like, at least on paper and based on where you're both at at 125, that this is a number one contender fight. Have you been told that this is a number one contender fight? Uh, no, I haven't been told anything in particular. I feel like there's, I feel like it's pretty rare where there's like promises like that. Um, but you know how it is, like winning in like in a interesting fashion or a great fashion is always gonna put you like right in that spot. So I feel like with a good performance Saturday, that there's no way I can't get a title shot. Would you be disappointed if there's another fight to be had? If you get like a dominant win over her, like would you feel like that would be enough to get you a title shot finally? I definitely feel like it would be enough to get me a title shot. Um, you know, I know they don't they haven't even matched up the third fight against Alexa and Valentina yet. So 
Um, if that takes a while, I wouldn't be opposed to fighting again, just because I'd rather stay active than like wait until they're kind of done doing that whole trilogy. Um, but I definitely feel with, with a good performance Saturday, there's, there's, I feel like it's like literally like my third number one contender fight, like beating Jessica Andraj, beating Talia, and then beating Manon Saturday. It's like, who else can I, can I beat that's even better than that? I agree. And, and my concern, uh, the reason why I asked that is if they're going to do the ultimate fighter and then they're maybe going to have the trilogy end of the summer, maybe on that sphere card, which is September, that means you're not fighting again until probably, you know, early 2025. That's, that's one fight this year, which is a bit of a bummer. No. Yeah. I definitely would like to fight more than that. Um, yeah, I've been focused on Saturday, so I'm really focusing on that, but after that, we'll see what happens. I, I wouldn't be opposed to fighting again. I'm confident in my abilities, so it's like I know anyone they put in front of me, I'm going to beat them. How do you feel about Manol? Considering the opponents that you just named, the people that you have fought, uh, you know, it hasn't been a very mm-hmm. easy road for you, but you've, uh, you've, you know, dispatched of everyone. Where would you put her skills up against the uh, the previous opponents that you've beaten? Uh, I would say that they're all, I mean, they're all like top five. So they're all very good. They kind of just have like their own unique things that they're better at. Um, so, you know, she's like a kickboxer. She's obviously going to try to keep it striking. So I feel like I've been, I've been working things to deal with that. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's just another tough challenge. Uh, I think they're all pretty like equal. It's just what someone's better at than the other. Did you see, uh, I, I would think that you did, but maybe not. Some people don't like to watch the fights. Did you see her win over Rose? And if so, what do you think of her performance in that fight? Uh, I did see her win over Rose. Um, you know, she fought, she fought technical the way she usually does. She uses her long strikes and Rose is having a hard time, like closing that distance. She couldn't get the takedowns. Um, I feel like she won the first and the second. And then at the third, I I felt like she was fading and Rose kind of put the pressure on and won. And I think she did win the third round on the scorecards. Um, so I mean, she did pretty well, but you could see, definitely see holes and, and her cardio as well. Did you watch Rose's fight on Saturday? And if so, what do you think of her performance? And and perhaps who do you think won the fight? Yes, I did see that. Um, I thought it was really back and forth. I thought it was a close fight. Um, I did actually expect Rose to kind of beat Rebus a little bit better in the striking, but Rebus held her own for sure. Um, I did feel Rose won. I feel like she had more top control um, and she was good about like reversing the positions when Rebus did get her down. Um, but even with that, it, it was definitely super close. Yeah. Do you, do you think Rose is, uh, is, is good at 125? Like, do you think that's a smart move for her? Or do you think she's better at 115? I would think, I think she's better at 115. I think just moving up a weight class, like 10 pounds, like from 115 to 25, like it's a big percentage of like your body's like weight, in general, especially when you're that small. Um, so, I mean, she's, She's won against Rebus, but Rebus is also someone that's fought at 115. She's not that big of a girl. She had the one fight against Manon, and she lost that. So I think she's a great fighter, and I think she has a lot of skill, but I think it's, she's going to be a little outsized at 125. She mentioned your fight afterwards. Is, is that like a dream fight opportunity for you, considering what she's done in the sport? Is that someone at, at some point, whether it's a title defense or whatever, is that something that you'd like to happen? That actually would be awesome. It was cool seeing her uh, call me out. I mean, I've been watching Rose for forever, uh, probably since I was like in high school. Um, she's not, I never thought I was going to have to fight her because she was always at 115. Um, but it definitely is cool. If I, if I got the chance to fight her, I would definitely take that opportunity. Who, who was your favorite fighter when you were growing up? Who was your person? Um, you know, I feel like I remember watching like Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate. I really liked, uh, I really liked them. I remember that was like the first fight really paying attention to. Um, and then I like watched their careers all through UFC. Okay. I, I really wanted to fight Misha Tate when she came back too. I thought that'd be cool. Oh my. Uh, have you ever met either of them? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. I mean, I think I've seen Misha like once or twice at the PI, but I never really got to like meet them. Okay. Um, another person that Rose mentioned was, uh, Macy Barber and, uh, Macy ha- t- has talked a little bit about your upcoming fight. And uh, I don't know if you saw those comments in the in the press conference where she mentioned that both of you aren't very exciting and that she wants to be considered. All, all that stuff that she was saying, do you see any of that? And if yeah. so, what were your uh, thoughts when you saw that? Uh, I mean, you know, I know she's pulled out of a fight with me. I'm pretty sure I've heard Manon say that she, like, uh, rejected fighting her at some point. So, I mean, she's calling for to be the backup fighter, but, it you know, it's going to be the winner of this fight. So when I win Saturday... If it would be anybody, it'd be me. Um, if she really wanted a title shot, she would be calling out the winner of this fight. 
Um, and I think there's a reason why she's not calling out the winner. She doesn't feel confident in her abilities and she knows she's going to lose. So that speaks for itself. Um, did you see her last fight? And if so, what'd you think of her performance? Yeah, I did see her last fight. I mean, I think she, she did well. Um, I do think she's a, a pretty good fighter. I think she's just strategic about who she fights. Um, and she's trying to like move up the rankings, like trying to take the safer fights. I know Kaylin is a great fighter, but she went through a lot that past year. Um, and I feel like you could see that in the fight. Um, and she just kind of edged her out a little bit. Uh, her saying that that you guys were boring. What's your your feelings on that? Um, I mean, I totally disagree. I have six wins in the UFC, three by finish. I plan on getting another finish Saturday. Uh, I think my fights speak for themselves. Yes, uh, I would agree with that as well. Uh, I think your fights are yeah. very exciting. And uh, it seems like you're always going for the finish, even if you don't get the finish, which is... Yeah you know, half the battle. Um, and, and just curious, what do, what do you think about Alexa and, and Valentina three? Who do you think wins that fight? I don't know. I feel like they're so like, especially I guess they've been fighting like two times now. Um, I feel like they're so close in like skill level that I, re I really don't know. I can see either of them like finishing each other. If I, if I had to guess maybe Alexa, I know she rocked Valentina in the second fight and she did, it did end up in a draw, but I really don't know. I could see either girl winning. Uh, I saw that you did commentary recently for, uh, I think it was CFFC. Yeah. CFFC is uh, fury grappling. Yeah. What was that like? Did you enjoy that? I did really enjoy that. Um, I wanted to get more into that and a manager was able to set me up with that. So I commentated like all my long for all the grappling matches. Um, and it was really fun. I was kind of like breaking down all the, all the technical grappling that was going on and, and I had a ton of fun with it. I, I want to do that more. Was that the one that Aljo was on? Yeah, that was the one that Aljo was on. When he went, like, when yeah. he had that, uh, when he cut that promo afterwards about the the butt scooting and all that. Yeah, yeah, because his opponent was just kind of like coming after him, and he wanted him to stand up and wrestle with him. And the guy had was taking no part of it, and he was like dragging him around the mat. Um, I thought Aljo won it just because he was like, I guess, like standing over him and did pass like once or twice, but the judges gave it to his opponent. Um, yeah, and then he cut that promo. <laughs> is that is that something you'd like to do more of? Yeah, definitely. I'd love to do it um, even for like their MMA fights. I mean, we get more into fighting. I, I keep doing it for their grappling shows. Um, but yeah, I, I liked it. I definitely would want to get into it more. Yeah, because like I think we talked the first time we met, you studied journalism, right? Broadcast journalism. So this is, yeah. this is yeah. your thing. Yeah, it's kind of like putting it into like really doing the work. Um, and I really enjoyed it. And I would definitely like to do some more of that. Okay. Um, all right. So Saturday, you're fighting on a card with legends like Chris Weidman, Vicente Luque. You're the main event. Is this surreal stuff? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it is pretty crazy um, that we got the main. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that we did. I know I'm from Jersey and it is a big fight and there is a lot on the line uh, potentially. Um, yeah. So it's super awesome to be headlining this card, especially with everybody that's on it. So it's going to be fun seeing all those fights while I'm in the locker room. <laughs> did you uh, care about three rounds to five rounds? Yes, uh, I definitely would rather five rounds. I feel like it really lends to like my style and my cardio. Um, I feel like I never, I don't think I've ever lost a third round. I I'm always persistent. Um, and I know even if I drop like a first round or something that there's still a bunch of rounds to go. So yeah, I'm super excited about the five rounds. So what are you envisioning? How do you win? I, I heard you say a couple of times when I win, when I win. So clearly you're very confident. What are you yeah. feeling? I feel like there's definitely be a finish by like the third or fourth round. I feel like uh, my pressure and the, my strategies that I've been like training, they're going to come together and I'll feel it in there and find my finish. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, wish you the best. Looking forward to it. I'd love to see a, uh, a local star getting an opportunity to fight in New Jersey. That's great. And uh, hopefully you get to punch your ticket to that title shot because afterwards I don't see what else you, you could possibly do to earn that. So uh, thank you for coming on and good luck to you this Saturday. Thank you. All right, there she is. Erin uh, Blanchfield joining us. Big opportunity for her. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.